2023 is year of the electric truck. These powerful heavyweights are growing in number, giving more choices to the buying consumer. While these trucks claim to be environmentally friendly workhorses, some of them weigh as much as three Toyota Corollas, have enough batteries for 200 hybrids, and can have as little as 200 miles of range. Despite these gaudy and compromising details, the EV truck is an incredible sign of wealth, power, cutting edge technology, and blistering acceleration, which is absolutely perfect for the American dream. Welcome to the channel. My name is Kirk. This is Kirky Cars, where I talk about electrified vehicles. 2023 is the year of the electric pickup truck. And today I'm going to detail not only the trucks that are currently on the market, there aren't that many, but I'm going to detail the new pickup trucks coming in 2023. So let's get into it. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you're excited for these EV pickup trucks. And let's get into the first vehicle established itself in 2021 on the market as the first EV pickup truck. This is the Rivian R1T. Starts at around $73,000 up to around $100,000. Can have up to 835 horsepower, over 900 pound-feet of torque. It only is available in a quad motor configuration. In 2024, they'll come out with a dual motor configuration. It can do zero to 60 in little as three seconds. Now you also have different battery pack sizes, 105 kilowatts, 135 kilowatts, 180 kilowatts. And the largest battery pack, you could see up to 400 miles of range. DC fast charging can get you to 80% in about 40 minutes. It weighs about 7,000 pounds, can seat five people, can tow 11,000 pounds, can have a payload of about 1,700 pounds as well. It is sold directly to consumers. And notable features for the Rivian are gear tunnel storage area, it has a front truck, air suspension, 16-inch touchscreen, 10 exterior cameras, glass roof, 15-inch ground clearance, 4.5-foot bed, built-in air compressor, 220-volt power outlets, and that's just to name a few. The R1T I see everywhere down here in Southwest Florida. They get your eye immediately. They look nothing like any other pickup truck. And let's roll into the next really big truck on the list. This is the GMC Hummer EV. It came out in late 2021. Multiple trim levels are coming on the way as well as the SUV. Price range starts in the upper 80s and can get you well into the $110,000 range. Horsepower is at 1,000. It has equivalent of about 1,400 pound-feet of torque. It has a tri-motor setup, one in the front, two in the rear. It can do zero to 60 as little as three seconds. It has an absolutely massive battery, 205 kilowatt hours from their joint venture with LG, known as Ultium, up to about 330 miles of range. You can put about 100 miles back into the battery in 10 minutes on a DC fast charger. It weighs a whopping 9,063 pounds. It is by far the heaviest truck on this list today mainly thanks to that massive 205 kilowatt hour battery. It can tow 7,500 pounds. It has a max payload of 1,300 pounds. And unlike the Rivian, which is sold directly to consumers, you will get this at the GMC dealership. It can crab walk as adaptive air suspension with an extract mode for six inches of extra off-road clearance. It has watts to freedom acceleration mode, getting you to 60 in three seconds as transparent sky panels and much more. Next up on the list is the Ford F-150 Lightning. This is probably one of the most sought after vehicles on this list, one of the most highly anticipated. It came out in the spring of 2022. Prices start around the mid 50s and can top out around $100,000 horsepower up to 580 and pound feet of torque up to 775 pound feet. It's only available in a dual motor configuration. It can do zero to 60 in just under four seconds. You have two different battery packs, 98 kilowatts and 131 kilowatts. Maximum EV driving range of 320 miles can charge to 80% in about 40 minutes on a DC fast charger. It weighs 6,000 pounds, so far the lightest truck on this list. It can seat five people, tow 10,000 pounds, and has a highest payload on the list of 2,200 pounds. You get these at Ford dealerships. Some features include an onboard generator with eight 120 volt outlets. You have a mega power frunk, a 15.5 inch portrait touchscreen, 
on the Lariat and the Platinum trims and much more. Next up on the list is a bit of an oddball. This is the Lordstown Endurance. It's only a commercial vehicle. You cannot buy this at retail. It is currently on the market. It came out in late 2022. Costs around $65,000. Has 550 horsepower up to 800 pound-feet of torque. It does have a unique engine, or should I say motor configuration. It has hub motors. So it has in-wheel motors, which increases unsprung weight, which is not necessarily a good thing. This is a unique advantage or disadvantage, however you want to look at it, for the Lordstown truck. It can do zero to 60 in five and a half seconds. It has a 109 kilowatt hour battery. It can drive up to 200 miles of range, one of the lowest on the list today. It can charge 80% in 45 minutes on a DC fast charger. It weighs a little bit more than the F-150 Lightning at 6,500 pounds or so. It can seat five people. It can tow 8,000 pounds. It can have about a thousand pounds worth of payload. And I don't have much else to say about the Lordstown Endurance, but let's get into which EV pickup trucks are coming this year in 2023. Let's start with the Chevy Silverado EV. You can think of it as a derivative of the Hummer EV in some ways. Work truck variants like the Lordstown Endurance, mind you, could be coming as early as the spring of 2023. Fall 2023 is when we'll see retail models. Price ranges start in the low 40s and top out almost as high as $110,000. Horsepower ranges from a 510 to 754. Pound feet of torque ranges from 615 to 785. It is a quad motor design, kind of like the Rivian R1T. Now we don't have details on the battery packs quite yet, but if we look at what the Ford F-150 is offering uh, with around 100 to 131, we can probably imagine there's gonna be a 100 kilowatt hour battery as well. Chevy is claiming up to 400 miles. And with that sort of range, you would think they might put the full fat 205 kilowatt hour battery from the Hummer EV. Fast charging is the same as the Hummer at 100 miles in 10 minutes. We don't have information on the curb weight, but it's probably going to be over 7,000 pounds. And with the largest battery pack, it could be pushing 8,000 pounds. Seating capacity is five. Max towing is up to 10,000 pounds, max payload up to 1,300 pounds. You're gonna buy these trucks at the Chevy dealership. Now, notable features, you have power-based charging system capable of providing up to 10.1 kilowatts through 10 outlets. You have a multi-flex mid-gate offering extended bed capacity and just like the Hummer EV, you have wide open watts mode for maximum power. Zero to 60, like I said, for that wide open watch should be in the mid fours, maybe quicker. Next up on the list is my favorite, or should I say most anticipated truck, because it reminds me of a Mitsubishi Delica from the future made fully electric. This is the canoe truck. It should be coming in late 2023, and it could be one of the most affordable trucks on the list. I've heard as low as $35,000. That sounds too good to be true. It'll probably be in, in the low 40s is my guess for when these start, but it ranges up to about $50,000 possibly more. You'll have two motor configurations, a rear wheel drive with 300 horsepower. Canoe is wanting 500 horsepower from the all wheel drive. Rear wheel drive torque should be about 332. All wheel drive torque could be over 550 pound feet. Zero to 60, not the quickest on the list, probably somewhere around five seconds. Battery pack is around 80 kilowatts, which is the lowest on this list. And that's why it has the lowest miles of range kind of tying uh, the Lordstown Endurance around 200 miles. We don't have any information on DC fast charging, no information on weight. Seating capacity seems a bit strange. Some configurations, some work configurations look to be only two people, but in the extended cab, which is not a four door like the rest of the trucks on the list, it's more of an extended cab. I didn't see any jump seats in there, but I would assume this would see up to four people, which is kind of a limitation versus its competitors. It has a max payload of 1,800 pounds, which is on the upper end of this list, absolutely. And notable features, this thing is kind of like the Swiss Army knife here on the list. It has a pop-out extendable bed. Behind the cargo area, there are flip-down side tables. You have a large front table with AC outlets and USBs. You have a pop-out bed step that also has hidden storage inside. You can divide up your bed space with these modular dividers and you have AC ports 
not only in the front that I mentioned, but also in the bed. And you have bed lighting that comes down from the top with an LED strip. You also have perimeter edge LED lighting in your uh, bed area as well. You have a modular roof rack. This thing looks to be the most flexible truck on this list and definitely the most unconventional truck, even more unconventional than the Cybertruck. And maybe that's why the looks pull me in so much and just the versatility of this truck pulls me in so much. You might be saying, Kirk, 200 miles of range. Come on, get real. Think of the low cost. And also think about if you're going to be taking these vehicles very far outside of your city limits or wherever you live, 200 miles of range would be fine for most city dwellers or city workers. So I don't really see that as a problem unless you plan on taking road trips or towing really heavy things because we know towing is going to smash your range. Also, Think about cold weather. Cold weather will smash your range. I don't live in cold weather anymore, praise God. So 200 miles should be perfectly fine for warm climates. Let's move on to the cyber truck. Maybe it comes out in 2023, but let's put it in this list. We know it's not going to start at the $40,000 price tag that was teased in 2021, but $50,000 could be a starting point here, up to $100,000, maybe more. Entry-level horsepower could be around 400, up to 1,500 horsepower, which would give it 500 more horsepower than the Hummer EV. This will also have the most modular powertrain design. In theory, Tesla is saying you could have a rear, rear wheel drive single motor, a dual motor all wheel drive, a tri motor all wheel drive with torque vectoring in the rear, kind of like the Hummer EV, for example. Quad motor like the Rivian, you can have it pretty much any way you want it, except probably front wheel drive. We know we'll have at least three battery pack sizes offering ranges of 250, 300, and possibly 500 miles of range. You could charge the Cybertruck in theory up to 80% and about three quarters of an hour. It also, in theory, can support seating of six. So you'd have a bench seat in the front, kind of like a throwback. We'll see if they can pull that off with safety regulations. Max payload starts at 7,500, but goes up to 14,000 pounds, at least on paper, right? We don't have an official Cybertruck yet. Max payload, 3,500 pounds, which doubles uh, the canoe truck at 1,800 pounds. And like Rivian, Lordstown, and canoe, you would buy this directly from the manufacturer. Notable features of the Cybertruck, well, it's ridiculous design, but that could definitely be a selling point for it. It has a stainless steel exoskeleton, a six and a half foot bed with locking cover, yoke style steering wheel, four wheel steering on the top trim, kind of like the Hummer EV, adaptive air suspension, 16 inches of ground clearance, zero to 60 and as fast as 2.9 seconds. Let's move on to a bonus truck on this list. This is going to be the GMC version of the Silverado EV. I don't think it'll come out in 2023, more than likely early 2024. So let's get into the Sierra EV. The Denali edition one is supposed to come out early 2024. Denali in spring of 2024, 84 and late 2024 and elevation early 2025. Should start around $50,000 and top out around $110,000. Not much different than the Silverado EV, but a little bit higher of a starting price. Horsepower, as far as I know, it's just one configuration at this point in time of 754 horsepower and 785 pound-feet of torque. Quad motor design only. Zero to 60 in around four and a half seconds like the Silverado EV. 400 miles of range like that vehicle. So it should have around that 205 kilowatt hour battery like the Hummer EV. 100 miles of range uh, should be charged in about 10 minutes. Max towing is 9,500 pounds. Max payload 1,300 pounds. And just like the other GM products on the list, you will buy this from your GMC dealership. It can crab walk. It has a power-based charging system providing up to 10.1 kilowatts through 10 outlets and a 16.8 touchscreen. Think of this as, uh, yeah, a little bit of the Hummer EV and a little bit of the Silverado EV. Also, another bonus truck on this EV truck list is the Ram Revolution. Should be coming in 2024, so not quite the year of the EV truck in 2023, but it continues on in 2024 to make us a little bit more excited for some... Maybe the Cybertruck gets pushed out in 2024 as well. So anyways, this truck is going to offer a lot of features. We don't have any details 
details. Of course, the truck hasn't been officially announced. However, over at Inside EVs, 1500 REV trademark has been registered. The great thing is that this truck will be revealed on January 5th. So definitely come back to this channel on January 5th. I will update you on the Ram 1500 EV pickup truck. That's really all the information we have at this point in time. And looking at the grand spreadsheet here, I got a lot of this information from uh, Auto News, so credit to them, but I also added some things in here, simplified some things as well. Feel free to pause here and read through the big comparison, screenshot it if you want so you can have it for your own usage but I'm excited for these EV pickup trucks. Which one are you most excited for? I've already said the canoe, just probably because it's design alone and low cost of ownership or low cost of entry compared to a lot of these other trucks. And what do you think about EV trucks in general? They definitely have their limitations. It wouldn't be my first choice if I was tow towing a camper or a boat on a regular basis, especially into parts unknown or just like small town America, not that many EV fast chargers around and trying to charge these, charge these things on a level one would be excruciating. So like I said before, I think these trucks, all of them, regardless of the range, make the most sense around town. So you don't have that range anxiety. And I can say that probably for most EVs that are not Teslas, the Tesla supercharging network just makes it a lot easier to live with as your only vehicle per se especially if you make long road trips with their supercharging network. And that's what the Cybertruck has on top of all of these is that a little bit of peace of mind if you're traveling long distances. But I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to subscribe for more electrified industry news. And 2023 is going to be a great year. I'm getting a lot of manufacturers here on the channel to test out hybrids, plug-in hybrids, as well as fully battery electric vehicles. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great 2023 and peace out.